But we're dealing with the cold as well, and that's truly the biggest story as we head into the next several days. And would you believe me if I told you it is going to get even colder. Let me take you right now to a live look at the Bethlehem area. You can see those flags are blowing in the wind and that's making it feel even up into Bethlehem like the single digits as we head into uh, the evening hours tonight. The overnight hours we're talking about more brutal cold and we're not even in the coldest time frame that we're going to be dealing with over the next several days. Our weather watchers have been checking in with some really cute pictures uh, this evening keeping their pets warm. Here's a look at Ed Connors. Uh, Casey, you got to keep your pets warm. You got to protect your pets, keep them inside. And then if you have to take them outside, put a little jacket or sweater on them. I know I put a uh, Doppler. That's my dog. Put his little uh, jacket on him when I took him out earlier today. Temperature wise though, man, these numbers are checking in. Certainly super cold. We've got digits in the teens and it feels like the single digits for a lot of our weather watchers. Let me take you now to a live look at the city from across the river. It just looks cold out there, but you can see a nice view of the skyline on the right hand side of your screen, and that is actually courtesy of this bitter cold air, allowing for a nice view of that skyline. We started out the day today right around 14 degrees. We only made it to 22 for our high temperature. That's about 20 degrees below average for this time of year and we haven't even made it to the coldest time frame yet that arrives New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. Storm scan three painting a very quiet picture. We have a clear scan. We're dealing with mostly clear skies and temperatures are just frigid and brutally cold out there on uh, 19 degrees right now in Wilmington 16 and Reading 18 in Lancaster. It's right around 20 in Philadelphia down the shore. We're in the teens to right around 20 degrees currently in Wildwood and then you factor in the wind on top of that and to bare skin. It makes it feel even and colder. We have winds anywhere from 5 to 15 miles per hour out of the north and west, helping to filter in some of that chillier air. And that's what's making it feel more like the single digits out there. Feels more like 8 degrees in Philadelphia, 4 in Allentown. Feels like 12 below up in the Poconos, and that's where we have a wind chill advisory that remains in effect until about 1 a.m. tonight. So as we head into the overnight hours tonight, frigid, some increasing clouds, overnight low temperature right around 12 degrees. Tomorrow, partly sunny, still very cold with a high temperature of 27. Tomorrow, the only saving grace is instead of feeling like the single digits, it's going to feel like the teens when you factor in the wind chill. So just some minor improvement for us there on future weather. Here's how things play out heading into tomorrow, likely starting out the day with some cloud cover, but then ending it before the sun sets with a little bit of sunshine, maybe even a snow shower up into the Poconos. We stay dry right here in Philadelphia, though. Then on Saturday, it changes. We're watching another system that's going to swing on through a little clipper system. It's going to move through very, very quickly, likely starting out with a period of light snow in the morning, lasting through the late afternoon, and then it's out of here in no time and we dry out. As far as snowfall amounts, we're thinking anywhere generally from a coating to around two inches. That's what most of our models are printing out. Anything that does fall is going to stick and that could make for some very slippery road conditions. So keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling on Saturday for holiday plans. Behind that system, we're talking New Year's Eve. It's going to be a cold game for the birds. Wind chills in the single digits, 19 by the fourth quarter and post game. It is just going to be blustery and cold out there. And New Year's Eve festivities, ooh, not much better. 18 at 6 p.m. 9 o'clock, we're talking 15. By midnight, it's going to feel close to zero. Keep that in mind. And not much improvement on New Year's Day. 19 for that high temperature. 28 on Tuesday. We finally get up to 30, you guys. Not until Thursday, though. All right, Chelsea, thank you.